So the next thing we're going to do to the micro aquila is sort out the wing joining. Now, so the idea is, is that this is going to drop into here like so, and you've just got to make sure that that fits well. Now, at the moment, mine drops in nicely by putting the rear in first and then dropping the front in, but that's not going to work because what we're going to need to do is to drill a small hole in the front here, add this pin, and then the idea is is that that then drops into that slot in the front and then we've got a wing bolt which is going to drop through in here onto this plate so I've just got to make the adjustments to the trailing edge uh, to find out why that's just a little bit too big oh it's only a smidge so I'll take that off of there and then we'll uh, put the pin in So just checking that I've got the nice bit of depth there. And then what we're gonna do so I'm gonna need to relieve this hole slightly. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna cut this um, just bigger than that former. Okay, sorted out the wing now. Um, I've not glued it in yet just because we might need to do a little bit of jiggling and wiggling. So that's my wing dowel um, sorted there. Uh, that's gone in very well. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're gonna to have to drill ourselves a pilot hole because we want the wing bolt sitting about here. Now, a little tip here, I think, is that as in the instructions, what they're saying is you want to be right in the middle there. So if we measure that spot just there, that comes in at about six mil. So all I need to do now is just a rough idea is to get this wing in place. And I now know that if I go about six mil in off the front of this plate, then I know we are gonna be pretty close to where we need to be. Right, now, we don't want to be drilling at the moment, and the reason we don't want to be drilling just at the moment is we want to make sure that this wing is going to be square to the fuselage. So what we need to do is accurately measure corner to corner. So what we're going to do is we are going to measure right from the corner there to that wing tip, right from there to that wing tip like so and then that wing tip from there to there actually that's pretty spot on uh, but yeah the basic you get the idea we need to make some measurements to make sure that this um, is uh, there at right angles right so I'm just going to do some measuring up of that and then when I've done that I'm just going to drill myself a pilot hole and then um, if it's slightly amiss so in other words, if the hole is slightly to one side of the fuselage, it doesn't matter. The important criteria is to make sure that the distance from here to here is the same measurement either side. And given the nightmare I had with, with the uh, fuselage sides kept breaking, um, I'm quite pleased with the way that's sitting at the moment. So anyway, the next thing is, is we're just going to uh, get the measurements right get a small pilot hole drilled here 
and you want a very very small hole and then the next thing you want to do is to add our uh, wing bolts so the idea is that when we put our pilot, pilot hole in we'll have a small hole here then what we do is we just thread this plastic uh, wing bolt in it's a shame there's only one in the kit um, you get a plastic wing bolt like so um, that's then threaded in so you want to do that a couple of times so you cut yourself a little thread then what you want to do is just a very quick little drip of um, cyano super glue leave it let it completely dry because if it's wet it's going to spoil your day then the idea is is then just cut in a couple of times again with that so what you're basically doing is you're making yourself a thread um, a threaded end uh, at this end with a bit of super glue so that's my next step right there's my wing bolt done um, I've gone a little bit rogue <laughs> I have put made myself a tiny little bit of a uh, ply plate there just to spread the load a little bit and all I did was I cut some of this out from the scrap so it's very very thin and I thought it would just uh, otherwise I could see that going through there quite easily so that's all I've done I've gone a little say gone a little bit off off plan but that's not a bad plan uh, it's nice and rigid it all looks square it measures up nicely so the next thing we are going to do is to do this uh, wing covering hatch thing I don't know what you call it okay so I'm calling this the wing hatch um, you're going to need the H3 and H2 now I've already fitted my washer into the back of there so the, the assembly is that's going to go onto there and that's sticking to the magnet make sure your hatch is fitting properly and then H3 is going to sit here like so and then these go in the sides like that now be very very careful because these have got you know break me written all over I was tempted I am tempted just to wick a little bit of super glue in those but I'll, um, when I've got this together, I'll let you know whether I did or not. So the idea is they're going to drop into there like that. And then the hatch goes on there like so. I'm just thinking about coming up with the plan at the moment. So the final thing with the fuselage is obviously we've got to do the tail surfaces. Now we've got to think about the process of how we're going to how and when we're going to cover. So um, these don't really need masses amounts of aerodynamic sanding. I would just round the leading edges off smoothly. Um, if you wanted to, you can cheekily take a little bit off the trailing edge to give it a nice smooth finish and a little bit off the rudder but they are quite thin anyway uh, so just be careful when you're doing that now the idea of the uh, fin and the elevator is that that is going to drop into here like so now if you get any resistance with this make sure that you uh, it's sanded now so that's how it the actually idea sits. is is that um so this is how it sits like so and then you've got the rudder is going to go onto here uh, remembering that it's actually going to drop down below and the other thing is then your elevator goes on to here making sure that um, you've got the elevator I'm just going to the get these all ready um, to uh, sand up ready to cover and then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to glue this bit together but I'm just going to use the tail plane um, slotted in just to get the rudder in place so I'm happy where everything's going and then I'm going to glue my uh, fin and then leave the fin so I'm going to cover that um, well I might do I might not oh. right okay so I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cover all these tail surfaces and then I'm going to assemble it all afterwards. Okay, so I have covered the wings in feather cover. Um, I went a little bit arty farty and sprayed the uh, fuselage and the wings in it was just a can of spray car spray paint that was a purple 
it was a bit of an experiment more than anything to see uh, how it would go and then um, you will you do not uh, put the elevator or the rudder on uh, before you've actually attached it because the problem is is obviously that's going to be sliding inside of there and that slides onto that way so um, you can't put the elevator on until the um, tailplane's on so anyway I've got that all set up nice and square now I've got to be honest with you it's turning into a little bit of a nightmare for me uh, because of <clears throat> this here now I'm not going to use one of those the little bricks um, I'm not that confident about the range of those little bricks and I want to use this on the bungee as much as anything and I use it on the slope and uh, as you've seen with some of my previous videos um, we get quite high so anyway there's enough of me faffing about servos I have gone for uh, Emacs ES 9251s which are these they are four grams um, I think I got these from Robot Birds um, say so no affiliation um, I've cut the tags off and what I've done is I've been experimenting with um, different sizes because the problem is is that you're gonna have to have the servo up here because the problem is if I try and stick a servo down here um, as you can see it's standing proud for where the wings gonna go but there so um, I've had a bit of a mash about I'm looking at sticking one servo here and I'm going to put the other servo like so um, like so and then um, I'm going to put my I've got a 650 milliamp hour battery that I now know is going to go in the front now interesting enough I'm then thinking ee, where am I going to put the receiver luckily my Futaba um, R304, the little four channel one. Look at that. That fits in there beautifully. Uh, I can stick one of the aerials out the top, but that's, that's going to give me enough space. So it's just a question of jiggling these servos in the right place. But I've experimented with that, and the CG works out just about right. Okay, there she goes. She's done. Uh, weighing in a whopping. 57 grams I'm using let me just show you what I've done I've literally shoehorned everything in some a receiver sitting up in the hatch like so um, I'm using a single cell 650 milliamp power um, battery single cell lipo and then I've got my two servos in there like so which we've talked about already now I just got to go and uh, give her a test fly oh uh, with this setup the C of G is slightly, very, very slightly nose heavy. So I, I'm not worried about that at the moment because I'm going to be flying this on a slope anyway. So anyway, let's crack on and let's get the test flight done.